welcome to Coding After Work. As Tyndall said, it's after work. If you wanted to watch some coding, it's Coding After Work. It's been a while. It has. We had a conference. We've been sick for a while. We had another conference. Another conference, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been a hectic couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's And nice we still to be back. have some conferences to go. We, we have, we have. Yeah. Do you want me to share your screen? Sure, why not? Let's talk about them. Because I saw you were sharing a conference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we are going to Techorama next week. And uh, usually we do a couple of recordings while we are at conferences. That's how we started with the podcast. But I think that for quality's sake, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Because uh, recording... The sound quality isn't the best. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it does take us a lot of time. I'm, I'm talking about days to uh, fix the sound when we're yeah. recording it. Yeah. Places like that. Yeah, so uh, we're not going to record anything, but we are going to... Um, you can put something up on, on TikTok or something. Yeah, and meet some new friends, perhaps, yeah. too. Uh, and old friends. And old friends, yeah. Yeah. To get some new and exciting guests. And we're guests. speaking there. We are not. I am speaking there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just plus one. <laughs> this time. I will be your plus one in, in uh, London. Yeah. So that's going to be Wait, super Tyndall fun. is also speaking there? I'm also not speaking there. Also not speaking there. Oh my gosh, I read that wrong. Okay. Yay! So we got... got Are you also a plus one? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot of amazing speakers here. Yes. I actually talked to Dylan uh, just yesterday to mm -hmm. submit for uh, Svetuk. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Upcoming conference. I should talk to Sam. I don't think I have yet. But there's a lot of awesome speakers going mm -hmm. on. So speaking about conferences. Yes. We got Sweet Tug Stockholm coming up. Mm -hmm. Still pretty long time away. Yeah, eight, nine, but February. the call for papers is closing the in. The call for paper is open and it's still until the 10th of October. So it's still yep. time. So you have submit, time. submit, you submit, have submit. Yeah, you have time. But we got a couple of sponsors as well. We Let's do. talk about them. Yeah. If they have a community of developers with over a thousand people internally, mm -hmm. uh, and they do, do a lot of cool stuff, and they want to help people with, um, well, basically help people in, in all the different ways they can uh, with the help of code uh, in the insurance world. And they're basically always looking for people. So look them up. Yeah. If you're looking for a fun place to work, at least uh, as far as I've heard. Yeah. yeah that's we know people very there. Great place. Now, you know what? <gasps> Is it time? It's time. It's time. It's time. I've been waiting. It's over 100. Over 100 truly native Blazor UI controls. Finally, we got there. Oh, that's so many. That's good. Good work. Yeah. Good work. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. A lot of uh, awesome support, awesome components. So you should definitely check them out if you're working with uh, Blazor. Yeah. And uh, actually... Well, they have other, th other stuff as well. Basically, any technology that, that you can yeah. think of, they have it. <laughs> yeah, basically. And they're good people. They are. And they have good speakers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Let's and speaking of conferences, yeah. we're working on our conferences. We pitch. are <laughs> so I did a couple of things. I don't think I did talk about them last time, but uh, basically, what I did was I, I made sure that the top image up here is stretching the whole page, mm -hmm. and that was not super easy to do. Oh, really? It, it's kind of an well, um, I I think it depends on how well versed you are in the world of CSS. Definitely. Uh, but I think that the solution I came up with is kind of nasty. So let's not talk about oh, that. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's bring someone on that's actually uh, knowledgeable about CSS. <laughs> oh, we should have a Ed yeah. on to fix. <laughs> Can you clean Can you up this code? This? <laughs> yeah, fixing the span. 
Oh, Tyndall wants to hear about Jimmy's nasty solution. <laughs> the reason I'm not lifting in the comments is because today it is broken. The featured chat Royally is not broken. showing any comments at all. So I will be narrating <laughs> the, I'm chat in the chat room. today. <laughs> We could Let's try. just tell it, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got... <laughs> it's not the good solutions that define us. It's the duct tape over the yeah. cracks. Yeah. That is... <laughs> this so is true. a very special type of crack. So... It, that's not... You can't say <laughs> things like that. Of course I can. Take it out of context. <laughs> My gosh. I meant that crack. Oh, Okay. Okay, carry on. Uh, let's uh, move on. <laughs> oh, I made you actually laugh out loud. I like it. <laughs> well, or maybe Jimmy's crude joke. <laughs> <laughs> so we got seven new conferences. No, we don't. We have 17. 17, the last seven days. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did... Uh, so last time, I believe, we had a couple of du um, duplicates in yep. the database. Yep. I cleaned that up got that uh, working better i hope awesome i have no, still no idea why we had uh, duplicates but yeah that was interesting yeah i don't know so i'm just gonna leave it yeah so for this uh for this um stream uh i'm gonna try a little bit different approach of showing the code so let's hope that that works out <laughs> Lava Soft says, uh, you, you just started and the laughters are deep. <laughs> this can be a good one. Yeah, well, I am super tired, uh, which means, yeah, probably uh, interesting things. Hey, Stacy, awesome to be back. Yes, we are very happy to be back. Um, definitely. And again, we are not lifting in the comments because our service is royally broken tonight so the top part of the page is mm -hmm. the header mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, i feel like i'm obligated to actually show that now oh yes 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 so the, the nasty top, yeah, duct tape so the top solution part of the page is the header so that's the component that's the component that has the um the image so i'm checking here if the url is hashtag or nothing then, uh, well, actually, um, I'm, I'm removing those, sorry. I'm removing the hashtag, and I'm checking if that is the same as the base URI. Mm -hmm. So if there is a hashtag there, yeah, you can still see it. Mm -hmm. If I remove the hashtag, you can still see it. Yeah. And if I go to another page that is something else, it's oh. gone. Okay. So that was the only way. So the, the, the problem was that I had... I made columns, uh, three columns. So one over here. Let's let's try this. There we go. So I got one here. Got one here. Nice squares. And one here. I gotta say that these are not the worst squares no, I've done. No, that is true. That is true. The middle one is is kind of squarish. Uh, so getting something that was going to span over all of them was a little bit tricky. I didn't. I didn't figure it out, so I did. I opted in for the nasty solution, but oh, it's working. It's working. Yeah, we need to call it. Help, <laughs> please. And he's like, "No, I don't have time." Have you seen the code? <laughs> I will be right there. I'll, don't worry. I just send you the code and <laughs> let, let you decide. Afterwards. Yeah, that's that's my. Uh, that's what I think. <laughs> uh, so what I'm thinking about uh, for today is to add a search function. Because we want to, I want to be able to figure out has VTUG uh, or an open call for paper. Yep, yep. Which um, has that. NDC one, yep. all of those things. And I also want to be able to search for tags and I want to be able to search for cities or venues. So I, I did a little bit of research uh, trying to figure out how you would do this in, um, in RavenDB. Mm hmm. Uh, so I, I tried a couple of different uh, methods. The problem was that I wanted to always search. The, uh, I started off with having like two ch um, text boxes. Mm -hmm. 
So I wrote uh, the name of the conference and then the location. Yeah, so Svetu, Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. The problem here is that the combination of all of those, so I wanted to, Svetug was going to search for the name, that was easy enough. Mm -hmm. But the location was going to search for, search in the fields country, location, and venue. Mm. Yeah. Because that's going to give us the best possible way of matching. But the combination, do, doing it like uh, like name or this or this or this or this. But I still wanted to, if I wrote Svitug Stockholm, I didn't want all the conferences in Stockholm as well as Svitug. No. So that was a little bit yeah. tricky. So we have a comment from Fulus Nobel. Right. Uh, location, location, location. <laughs> exactly. It's true. Exactly. So what I figured out was, so this is one of the things in Raven that I'm, I'm finding to be super cool, mm -hmm. but also something that I'm not used to. Yeah. So what we should do here is to create an index. And we're going to create an index that indexes all of those, those fields that I'm interested in. Yeah. Because what Raven is going to do is going to break those all of those words up into separate words and index that in a nice way. Yeah, I, I have a vague recollection that Oren might have shown us. No, not Oren. Dayan mm -hmm. might have shown us stuff Something like that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. An index of indexes. Yes, the index to uh, rule them all. Index index. So what we're going to do... Simply, so we're going to create a new index. We're going to create a new file. Dot .cs. Boom. There we go. Let's fix the namespace. Ah. <laughs> Jimmy has not yet started to using the three-second silence and the and glitter just for <laughs> fun. Not yet, no. Hasn't been a lot of glitter lately. Actually, so what I did was so we had our first in person meeting and meet up that was Tuesday, Tuesday, right? And I actually turned off the glitter and I haven't turned it on again. So I'm sorry, no glitter. You'll just have to uh, see what I'm dealing with here. You'll, ha you'll have to be the one that sparkles. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Napalm says, you know, today is a good day when you're reporting a bug in an AWS service. Ooh. Nicely catched. Okay, so. You didn't have any sparkles when we met either. <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I just brought out my very sparkly dress, which I may or may not have on uh, Takarama. I haven't decided yet. Depends on how much uh, laundry we have time to do before we pack. <laughs> uh, so what we need to do is to create a class that is going to contain all the things that we want to have in our index. Mm. Right? So let's uh, create a new class. Conference search term. Can you scroll up a little? I can. There we go. So we're going to create a name because I want to be able to get the name of the conference. Makes sense. Uh, I want to have an ID mm -hmm. because that's the way we are going to find the conference afterwards. I want to have a search term like so. So the search term is going to be all of the conference, um, all, the, all the words that we want to search for is going to be in the search term. Want to have a date only event start. And that's simply because we want to be able to show that in the index when we when we oh, sorry in the search results mm -hmm. we want to show when the conference starts and we want to show when the call for paper ends. Yeah, that makes sense. And just gonna have a date now for some reason. <laughs> for, for some reason, okay. <laughs> All right. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the index. So uh, actually we're going to 
Inclusive or exclusive? Uh, inclusive for what? I don't know. Off by a day errors. Oh, maybe we're we're uh, not talking about you. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Unheard of. <laughs> Uh, so the, the index, this is the index class that is going to create our index. So what we need to do, we need to uh, inherit from um, the abstract index creation task. And we want to index conferences, but we want to index them as conference search term. That's the one we just created. To add one of those as well. Oh, he was talking about the conference day and the call for paper day. Yeah. Uh, not sure. Uh, the inclusive and exclusive? Yeah. No. Uh, so uh, we also need to have uh, our uh, document, the Raven client documents indexes, and we need to get the data namespace as well. Okay, so we got a class that is going to create our index for us. Mm -hmm. That is very handy. It is. It is. I like when things just happen automatically. Well, not automatically. Is the call for to... paper day the day they close or the day they have closed? Uh, it is the day, date and time when they close uh, uh, but he's trying to find errors uh, may <laughs> or may not happen so if we have the first of january 2022 do they accept papers until january 1st midnight or uh, the night before midnight well the night before midnight is not yet the first of january so uh, when, it, when it comes to sessionize, it's usually midday or whatever time you're specifying. Yeah. So it's not necessarily... So the uh, the event start is a date only, but the call for paper end date is a date time. So we got, we got the timestamp right there. Yeah. But I guess that, that depends. For, for, for what we are reading, we are reading the date and time exactly. Uh, for sessionize, we got that time. Uh, for other other places, um, 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 can't... suppliers of data. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember the name right now. Uh, pa paper, uh, line? Uh, paper call, yeah. for example. Uh, I am not sure if they have a, just a date or or a date and time. But for what we are doing, that that's a an, an import issue. We can make sure that the time is, is that we get the right time right there. Okay, so let's... Uh, Otherwise, we would have a lot of angry uh, people. I missed this <laughs> by one day. By one day. Yeah, because it, it's a running joke, but it's also true that most speakers actually send in like the last day, hour, or even after the fact. <laughs> That's just how it works. I'm not saying that it happened to me, but a very close person, that is not Jessica, that lives in this house, might have TikToks, TikToked his or her way out of talking at NDC. Oh, right, right, right. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to watch a couple of more TikToks here before I submit. Just, just a couple of more. And then it was closed. Yeah. So you see. <laughs> Does just share the bed with this person? <laughs> she might. Uh, let me put it this way. We are two people in this household. so And it's not me that time. I've done it plenty of times before. But not TikTok. I have just... Uh, I will do it later and later will never yeah. come. And that's a really nice thing with Sessionize. Because if you haven't used ses Sessionize... You can add your sessions that you want to talk about. Uh, and as soon as you see, oh, this is a conference is up, you can just go in, get those, um, get those uh, conference, or those sessions in there right away. Just Yeah, you have like a, a bank of your, your exactly. um, 
So it's not even difficult. You you just have to go to the page and yeah. click, 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 done. <laughs> just go do it later. Yeah. Are you sharing inappropriate TikToks? I am. Yeah, okay. I might have laughed, so I cried when I saw it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you still have that coming up. You also have to write and slide and think of it first. No. Absolutely no. not. That is not not true at all. No. You have to write the slides before the session. Yes, that's not before only, you send it in. No, that's the only rule. Yeah. So you just need to have sort of a uh, an idea of, of the topic. That's it. Mm. Is TikTok really getting bigger and bigger? Yes, definitely. It's actually, I saw some report of uh, influential uh, technologies and, and TikTok is, is one of those. So, yeah. And if you don't follow us on TikTok... I, you can do that now. Yes, we are coding <laughs> off to work. Uh, all right. Yeah, and the kids are about to leave, exactly, because now we have uh, taken over. We moved from Facebook over mm. and stuff like that, yeah. All right, so what we need to do is that we need to create a map. We need to take the data into the database, mm -hmm. map it to the index. Yeah. So we're going to say map equals, so CS, this is conferences. Just a name. And from C, uh, which is, is uh, from C in CS. So for every conference in the database, is going to be called C at this mm -hmm. point. Right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to select a new conference search term. I'm going to set the ID to C.ID. So that's a conference ID. So I'm, I'm, I'm mapping all the fields into the new structure. The name is going to come from name. Yeah. The event start date. Do you know where that is, that's coming from? The event start date? The event start date. That's absolutely true. We got a call for paper end date, like so. And then we got search term. So here's where we can put in some really cool stuff with all the things that we want to be able to search for. Mm -hmm. So I want to search for name. Yeah. I want to search for city. Yeah. Venue. Venue. Actually country and then venue. There we go. Yeah. I want to be able to, to search for tags. So we, we don't have tags completely in there yet. No. There are a couple of providers that supply us with tags. So we need to... So a tag could be like .NET or Java or exactly. development or... Exactly. I've seen... Uh, I think there are a couple of uh, of tags that are like Microsoft, which is mm. like, yeah, what does that no even sense. mean? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take... I'm going to do string.join and then comma. So I'm going to say that for all the items inside an array, I want to join them together in a string with a comma. Mm -hmm. bin, so um, comma separated. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say c.tags because I want to take the tags inside of the database, join them together and just push that out. And then last but not least, we need to say that the index we are creating, we want to index that on the property search term and we want that to be a field index search. So it's going to be searchable basically. Let me bring that up just a little bit. So what we got here is, well, this part, just mapping straight mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. This part, we're saying search term and join all of these words together. Yeah. Uh, so they're searchable, which is kind of cool. So the next thing we need to do is to make sure that we are kicking off the indexing part. Yes, um, Tyndall says uh, semi-related as mm -hmm. we're doing mapping. Um, did you see that the foundation has swallowed our, up auto mapper, mapper and it's apparently being baked into a uh, .NET version close to you, like 7 or 8? I did not. That's mm -hmm. amazing mm -hmm. news. We actually had... Uh, I'm totally blanking on his last name. Jimmy Bogard. Bogard. Yeah, uh, on the um, on the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So what we need to do here is we need to, so we, we got a couple of different ways here. We, we are saying execute the index, this index and that index. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do here as well. We're going to store.execute index sync. Uh, and we're just going to instantiate it with conference search term. So that's, uh, sorry, conference by search term. So that's the index mm -hmm. itself. Uh, maybe we should rename that to something more... Uh, now. Naming convention is not your uh, best. Uh, well, uh, I, I, I mean, I have names. Yeah, there, there's exactly you have names, arbitrary names. Arbitrary names. What's up with that? Hmm. It's you and Microsoft. <laughs> okay, so we got an index. Uh, technically, if I would run this now. It would create an index in the database, and it's going to sp spin up and all of that uh, goodness. Uh, but we need to actually search for something first. Yep. So we're going to pop into our API. Let's see if I remember where I put that one here. Uh, so we're simply going to, um, somewhere here, perhaps. Is this what I want to do? <laughs> This is, are you? Don't swear. We're family friendly. I didn't Most swear. Most of the time. The, I, is it what, exactly what you wanted? Is it going to bug you again? Are you going to rant about uh, Copilot? I hope that I, th I think that this is <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm hoping the mute button worked. Not in my ear, but thank you. Sorry. This, I don't know what happened. This is actually almost exactly what I want to do. Not entirely. This is close enough to what, what I want to do. <laughs> so uh, Tyndall um, says that we need to take it with a grain of salt. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Jimmy's ear is going to be blown out. I think we're actually going to rewrite this one. Uh, oh, you it, are. It's, it's close enough, but there w was a couple of things that well, I need to change. So let's uh, let's type it out instead. There we go. Let's see what we got. So we want to create a um, method. Uh, we want to return conference search term. So that's the, the class that we're indexing on. Uh, we want to search conferences, I think, send in a, a search term. Uh, we are going to use a uh, session and open that session. And now we're creating a query. So I'm going to say session query. Uh, I'm expecting back session a conference search term. And I'm also specifying that I want to use the index called conferences, conference by search term. That's so I know that it's going to hit that index. And then we're going to say <laughs> Close search. your function, please. <laughs> then we're going to say search term. <laughs> what is a car show? Okay, so we have two questions. Sorry. Um, how much do you guys prep the car shows? Um, because I want to, <laughs> I start with a general idea of what I'm going to work on and then jolo it. Uh, so, um, car is coding after work. That's just, uh, well, the, the, how much we prep is very individual. Uh, so in this case, I've done quite a lot of preparations because I 
I wanted to make sure that this worked. I did no preparation at all. <laughs> <laughs> for closing the function here here this is Stacy <laughs> so we're searching for in the search term with the search term um, um, function or um, um, parameter and here's the really cool thing so we are saying operator so I'm saying I want so what, what is going to happen is that that the search term is going to be broken up into individual words, just like the search term that we had in, in inside of the index. And then I can say, you know what? Search operator dot and. So I'm saying that I want I want to impl I want, want it to do an and between all the words. Yeah, okay. So Sveatuk and Stockholm. Exactly. And Sweden. So then, and then we're gonna just return a uh, to list. So we have a bunch of puns. We have a pun. A pun. Because Thule uh, Snobel is in the chat room. So we, we said car show. Mm -hmm. But since my throat has apparently given up on me, I've been teaching all day. Uh, he said that this might be a cough show, which is kind of um, Got it. punny. Got yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, what if I want to search for word one and end word two? Um, so that in, in, in that case, and not word. For, okay. <laughs> so so in that case, uh, there there are ways. I, I believe there is uh, an. Uh, oh, it's an actual use case. No, that's not. So when you're when you're searching, uh, let's see what what is it called. It's called something else. It's called. Uh, it's not operator. It's options. Search options. Search. No. <laughs> so close. Search options. Is the parameter called something else? It's just search option. Get a suggestion for a pipe. There we go. So here we have here we have or guess not and so you can you can add more searches uh, search um, calls. Uh, I mean, you, you can add more than one of these search thingies. So in that case, you would do like search, search uh, whatever you want to uh, want to do, and say not and whatever. Oh you yeah, want so to search say. for one, yeah. two, and but not three. Exactly. Mm. exactly. Nice. Oh yeah. So it, it's he possible. You approved as well. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to do, let's do this. This is kind of fun. So in the, um, so what, what, we, what we got near now is that we have a, um, a new class search term, search, not search conference search term. <laughs> Starting to get hard to keep them, keep them apart. Yeah, and that one has a property that is the call for paper uh, end date. So what we can do here is that we can, so in the data project, we have conference, and the conference has a property called closing in. Mm -hmm. Which is a little bit of of oh yeah to closing figure out. and not closing in but closing in this amount of time exactly yeah so we got hours days and and stuff like that but I would like to have this on the other class as well so I could take this copy paste and be done with it are we gonna do that no so I'm gonna take uh, this part. Go. 
and I'm simply gonna say when I'm getting this, when I'm getting uh, actually I'm gonna build that one first, that's better. So let's create a date time extensions. Did I get that right? No, extensions. Extensions. Is that the right spelling? Extend no. Uh, yeah. Isn't there a T in that one? Extend. Extensions. No, it's okay. I thought it was I a T, know. but I don't know. It will compile. No, now it's extensions. Uh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I, I simply want to create an extension method that uh, we need to make sure that it's static. We need to add a method public string uh, and uh, pretty close uh, to uh, to um, closing in perhaps uh, paste our amazing code uh, so this one is referring to the date inside of the uh, the conference class, we're just going to replace that like that. Uh, and that one should be nullable. There we go. Uh, so what am I missing? I'm missing, no, I've got a return. Why are you, uh, it needs to be static, static. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're creating an extension method. So we're saying that the, I want this method, method to be available on all the date time, nullable date times. Mm -hmm. So now when we created this one, uh, I'm going to be able to simply go back to my conference here. I'm going to be able to say a return uh, call for paper end date. It knew what to do. What are the pros and cons of using date time over date time offset? the pros and cons daytime offset isn't daytime offset just a, a uh, period yeah yeah and it's an what what Tyndall said <laughs> and, and Tyndall said daytime offset is an offset why okay that was wrong, wrong naming but almost you need to correct. apply that to a daytime to get another daytime hmm and Fulus Nobel says daytime offset is a daytime with the offset included. Okay. Um, then you know more than me. <laughs> so you tell us the pros and cons. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, yeah. Offset is a time span. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, so apparently we are not sure at least. Oh. <laughs> so in this case, we're keeping the closing in inside of the uh, method here. Mm -hmm. I could just remove it and just type closing in instead in the um, when we're getting the data. Okay. But I'm going to keep that one there just for backwards compatibil compatibility. Yep. At least and for now. readability. And readability. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to create a new page. Uh, let's call it search page. That's cool. Isn't it? Dot racer. Racer page. Thunder racer page. No, racer I know. component. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did not get. But a racer page any can be a racer component? At all. Or you can use a racer component in a page. Which one is it? Uh, say again. Um, a racer page is a component, or can you use the component in a racer page? It's one of them. Um, a, a component can be a page. Yeah. Uh, which is going to be apparent right now. Because Should you really page. add formatted strings to a model object? Shouldn't that be part of the racer view logic? Uh, should it be part of the racer view logic? That might be true, but I want that logic to be on more than one view. So. Oh, okay. 
but with the with with the uh, extension method, I actually can do exactly what you're saying. Okay, so page, a search page. Mm -hmm. uh, let's um, search some stuff. No, wait, we already searched for it. We need to show it. Exactly. So I want to uh, get our uh, API. So mm -hmm. I want to inject that. Uh, then I I next tech event API. Call it API because why not? Uh, so for this to work, we need something to uh, we need to input something. Is GitHub Copilot correct? You know it's this correct. Is, this is not bad. You know it's it's the better guesses you get from GitHub Copilot, the angrier Jimmy gets or frustrated. How does it know? This is not bad. Tyndall says, I've been spending ages removing that kind of stuff from my models and data objects and moving it into views or static-ish helpers like extension methods mm. that I can call from the view instead. Well, that, that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, so for, for, our, for our website, that would work. Let's say that you have, if we were using a grid, grid component, then we would have to, at every place that we want to show the text with with text, that's, it's actually text, so this is kind of... Unnecessary. I'm, I'm like, it's glitter, you're adding glitter. Yeah, glitter. He uh, said glitter! <laughs> so what, what, what we're actually, um, if we're using a grid, we would need to create a template for adding that extension method for all the places that we want to use it. So... It might be okay, might be a little bit um, tricky to do that. So let's create a text box. I want to have a little bit of placeholder, holder. Let's search for conferences, conference, conference name, city, country, or tags. Yeah, and venues. We're going to set a class for it, class search. I'm going to create that in a minute. And we're going to bind that to the search term property, which we're also going to create in a minute. And on key, key press, we want to run the search method. And we want that search to trigger on, on input. So whenever I'm typing, I want that to, uh, um, to um, update. Like that. I actually have a little bit of code, like a snippet here. So I'm going to just bring that in and let's talk about it. Why is everything... Squigglies! Ah, because I have The opposite of glitter in code. Actually, I have a little bit of code here as well. Let's bring that in. As well. There we go. Uh, why are you? Are you? Is this a Visual Studio issue? Might be. Uh, so this one we named to closing in. There we go. Okay, so uh, we are creating a table. And we got a TR, we got the event start, name of the conference, and I've just named this CFP. Makes sense. Then we're using a, a virtualized uh, component with the event start, the conference with a, a link to the conference, and a nice uh, call for paper end date with a closing in mm -hmm. uh, format. So that's it's nice. nice. I believe it when I see it. <laughs> you believe it when you see it. That, that's good. That's good. Uh, so next, uh, oh, we got a little bit of code here as well. Uh, so we got a list with conferences, which is where we're going to get the search result, the search term, and the method search. 
So I'm checking that if the key that I'm pressing is an enter, then I want to do the search because I don't want to search on every keystroke because that's going to be um, horrific for the database. I'm also checking that the search term is actually something. Is if it's nothing, so sometimes you just want to clear what you got, yeah. right? That, that's at least how I, I usually work. So I would be able to just delete the search term, press enter, and get the search results gone. Thindal is is uh, saying, meh, just throw money at the problem and get a faster database. <laughs> that is the problem because my... my um, What are you? C, C. I'm the CEO. CTO. I'm the, the CEO. CEO. Yeah. My CEO will not approve that <laughs> that expense report. Probably not. Uh, oh, that was a solution we went for in 2008 when I had my first consulting job. Uh, my CEO doesn't improve either. <laughs> yeah. So basically, what we're doing, we're, we're taking this. Conferences, just running the search uh, search uh, method, sending in the search term, and we're ordering it by the sending event start. So that's what we're doing. Oh, when you are uh, when you get AWS bills already at four hundred thousand dollars per month, um, that might be a bit difficult to argue for. But then again, if it's $400,000 or if it's $410,000, not that big of a difference. If you go from zero to 10,000, bigger difference. True. Uh, so next we're gonna create a um, isolated CSS. So search page dot. Oh, we also got, got a new is awesome. Sir? Like the it, it you is. just used. It yeah. is CSS. So search page, name of the component, dot racer, dot CSS. And I've got a little piece of awesome 100%, a <laughs> little bit of padding, a little bit of margin. Uh, and Jessica is going to redo everything <laughs> at some point. <laughs> or I'm just calling in Ed. That that might be a solution yeah. as well. Because he's he's a good. Uh, I like him. He would be fun to have back on. on uh. Oh my gosh! I'm not going to name drop a company. Tyndall says, but there's a place here uh, in the city he lives in that decided that auto scaling in Azure wasn't very good, so they wrote their own script that spun up instances from templates when necessary. Basically, recreated auto scaling. Yeah, because the company that provides freaking auto scaling is, of course, not good enough. So you need to redo it. Yeah. Uh, they forgot about it, uh, the scale down part, mm -hmm. which you meant sure do. and didn't notice it for three months and ran up to around eight hundred thousand American dollars. Nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot something. Oh yes, yeah, so it grew grew to the absolute peak, and then it just stayed there instead of uh, actually, uh, yeah. Ouch! Oh, there was a page. There was a page, but I missed the page. Too late. Oh, pick or it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, so the problem is that I uh, we have no way of accessing it. I could type no. the URL like a psychopath, but that's not what I'm gonna do. I am going to go into my, where is it? Where are you? Share, maybe? There? Nav menu? Uh, let's see, we copy this one. Organizers, we don't want that, we want search. And we don't want it to say four organizers, we want it to say search like that okay let's see what we get boom search search come on search page what is is it why is it is it what? a different color or oh, no you're hovering okay 
Okay, so this might be not. Yeah, not you see, I I nice. I think your CSS skills uh, might not be uh, as good as Ed's. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. All right, so let's type uh, sweet talk. I wonder if he knows that we are talking about him that much. I need to invite <laughs> him. <laughs> let's see. Boom. We got sweet talk. We have sweet talk. We got four days left, people. Yeah. Four, four days, days left. So hurry up. Submit your stuff. I know at least one person in the chat room has submitted. So we have one good um, submitter. <laughs> Uh, so we got we got this. I don't know why this is uh, the date should be picking up as well. Let me see. I think we got date somewhere. Oh, Stacy says submit. It's the best conference. Thank you. Where are my CSS there? 35 pixels, that's a little bit. Sounds very tiny. Let's go for 50. Okay. Is she a redhead? Yes, she is. And an owner of a Nazi com? Yes, he, car. Yes, she is. Uh, depending on if you mean uh, a Spitfire or a Polestar, um, because both are true there. One of them submitted and not the other. <laughs> the other is an organizer. <laughs> Still not really are both pixels. of them going to run a session. Yes, they are. Uh, I have yet to submit. I usually don't for our own. This should be like more, I feel. Like more. There we go. 100 maybe. Yay. That looks pretty good. Uh, so we got, we got a sweet tongue, right? So let's say that <laughs> I... What? You just assume you'll get accepted. Uh, what? Who is assuming? Nobody's assuming. I'm not even submitting. As in, I did not volunteer to speak. In in Svetog, uh, Gothenburg, they ask me to submit, uh, but usually I don't speak that many. I haven't spoken too many times at. Um, at it's it's pretty tricky to ha have a session and organize a conference. Yeah. There's a lot of things going on, and yeah. well, yeah. Okay, so if I search for Svetog. Mm -hmm. And Stockholm, you see mm -hmm. that we only have Stockholm. We only have Stockholm. And one is closed because it was, well, well three uh, years previous to well, the one we were ago. running. Uh, so if I remove uh, Sweet Talk and just search for Stockholm, boom, there's all the conference in Stockholm. Oh, look at that. And I can even go like this. Let's do can oh, can well, we we need to be able to pivot on the data because I want to know in what order the call for paper is closing as well. All right, yeah. In this case, so it, it, it depends a little bit of, uh, of what what we're looking for, what kind of, of um, search we're doing. Yeah. Uh, now, I would think that perhaps we should bring this in into speakers, and that way we would show it in this order. Yeah. You know, for attendees, we would show it in this order, but we yeah. will always have a search field uh, up here. Yeah, maybe. That, that might be... Uh, a, yeah, like a contextual a, search. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, oh, and uh, and I can go like JavaScript. So oh. you know where you're not submitting. No, where I want randomly to randomly glitter for Jimmy as well. Yeah. Uh, and as you can see there, uh, this one graph QL Galaxy, for example, does not have JavaScript in the name. No, but probably in a tag. Probably in the tag, but we can't see that. So let's no. uh, let's actually just. Add that to the conference page. 
I'm going a little bit off script because I hadn't planned this. Uh, Tyndall was very happy to have caught the panic replacement for my Svetog session to um, to go to. Yeah, that was uh, I I did the um, um, evaluation. Me and Jimmy did the evaluation when we get home got home, and that was a very popular one, definitely. So I'm very happy he could uh, mm -hmm. jump in. So isolated as the CSS is that like CSS with unreadable namespaces, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way of putting it. Uh, that, that's pretty pretty much. Uh, uh, let's let's take a look. Yeah, as you can see up here, B minus six eight K. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely. Uh, that's that's pretty much exactly what's going on. Well, when it's here not when you have it in your project no when it's when it's rendered yeah so what is it if you're before it's rendered uh, in that case it's just normal css uh, yeah but the isolated part I'm not sure i understand the question tell me about isolated css So I, you just read that chapter. I know I read that <laughs> chapter. That's why I'm asking the questions. You should tell. No. So isolated CSS is is uh, CSS that will only affect that particular component uh, by adding these horrific. Uh, let me see here. Let's bring one of those in here. By adding this kinds of attributes. Yeah. So the CSS that comes out out of there is saying like. And uh, so it, it needs to be a, um, uh, in this case, I believe it's actually the main tag. So this CSS says main tag with the attribute of yep. all of that. So, so that means um, instead of needing to duplicate a lot of similar CSS uh, in, in all the different components, uh, we can make it only... Uh, apply to a certain component yes um yeah that's exactly. good that's good so here we go yeah Graph, see it did, did have and javascript it did, did have we need to do something yes. nice with that we but, do uh, we do but uh, for now uh, i mean we don't we, until we actually have something we need to be able to make sure that all the conferences is tagged in somehow hmm the tricky part is that not all conference, not not all providers has that, and not all conferences are actually saying what what they're yeah. looking for. And uh, let's talk about Sweetug, for example. I don't think we have we we're saying um, we ha we dot net anything dot net. Uh, well, no, we, we're we're saying anything interesting to a dev dot net developer. Right. But we have no tags, I believe. So Sessionize doesn't have a, a way to do that. Oh, but, okay, okay. But I mean, uh, in this case, we could. What we could do is like we have a, a um, document store with if the if the um, you're just parsing. Yes, yeah, so I'm, th I'm thinking just going through all the keywords here, and yeah. if it says .net, we can bring that out. Yeah. So uh, if someone says this is not a JavaScript conference, that we will still have the tag JavaScript. But if they write like that, eh, it's it's okay. Yeah. It's so okay. we we do have web security testing agile method methodol met uh, methodologies. That. Thank you. That's what I've been teaching today. And apparently <laughs> coffee as well. Yes, we do have coffee. Continuous coffee. Continuous <laughs> delivery of coffee. We learned that the hard way, the first ever Sviatug we did. Yep. Because we only had coffee in the morning break, in the afternoon break, um, maybe during lunch as well. But yeah, uh, we got very strict feedback from a lot of people. Very strict. Yeah. Sweets like their coffee. Let's put it like that. They do. All right. So... I refuse to believe that Lusticula is a real place. It is. <laughs> Is it is and a really good place as well. Yeah, 
Um, but I used to read it as lustig kulla, uh, which is uh, more like a funny hill thingy, which is not apparently. And they got a little bit offended when I uh, <laughs> accidentally typed that in in an email to them. Coffee, it's just an alternative to energy drinks. Yeah, but we didn't have that the first year either. The first year was um, not up to par. <laughs> we had packed lunches, uh, salads, I believe, and the venue was so small that it couldn't provide for all people eating at the same time so you could join yeah. you can bring it into a session and, su and stuff but the line for picking up the salads was so long it went outside and this was uh when it was snowing and people had put in their jackets in the wardrobe and yeah we did better the next year after that or so i hope and uh, so this Actually, the, the, what, what it was saying before, it, it said a C dot close, closing in, close in. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to replace that because I think that's the only place uh, we're using that uh, tag or that okay. um, 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 property. So since Tyndall said that we should not have that inside of our class, let's remove that from the conference. Where are you? There it is. Conference, and we can just remove this one like so. Let's see if it still builds. No, did not. So apparently, I still have it somewhere. Let's see. Still have it over here. So let's just go for CFP and date dot to closing in. There we go. So we got got rid of that one. Cool. Where did my side go? Where's my side? Uh oh. Bring me my sight. Okay, so we got a little bit of search functionality. We can search tags. We can search um, uh, conference name, city, uh, country. Let's see if we can search for country, Sweden. We can, look at that. That's all the conference in, in Sweden. So the only thing that, uh, so the, the, the list here uh, is, It's not uh, limited in any way. Okay. And so this is all the conferences that has ever been on Sessionize, for example, when we're searching. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that makes no sense. That, I think we, we should... Uh, I, don't, I don't think it makes sense to, to like, s remove them from, from uh, when they closed. No. Um, they call for paper. So we, because we want to be able to search for... Yeah. Um, sometimes you want to know when are they usually open, yeah. <clears throat> but it doesn't make sense to have them here for the attendees. Uh, for, for the, the organizer, it makes sense to yeah. still be able to see the old dates, mm. but not for the attendees. Uh, but that what, are we, just what we searching. could do add, uh, add some kind of checkbox and say... Um, uh, uh, Exclude has been. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually thinking about the... Uh, opposite uh, approach so oh, okay include, so include uh, yeah yeah that's that uh, because makes because let's say that i want to see uh, when, when is uh, ndc usually happening uh, and that I, I would be able to see that uh, here and so i yeah so when it comes to uh searching can we search for um a state like Pennsylvania, PA, whatever. Let's try it. PA. 
Yes, tech bash. tech bash. Look at that. The, the reason why this is working is because we included the... So, so I don't have a field for state. No. But we do have a state. We do have the field for venue. And as long as they're typing... Uh, if we pop in here and just... Yeah, uh, Pocono Manor, PA. Exactly. Yeah. And so, so Pennsylvania would not work. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Unless they have put that in somewhere, but they didn't. Yeah. yeah. So that that's a little bit tricky one. That's a tricky one. I, I'm not sure This how is another to... one we're speaking at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why I knew it was in, in Pennsylvania, if someone wonders. I don't think anyone wonders. Four degrees. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting here here soon as well. And apparently it's a general conference. Apparently it is held in uh, a resort which has America's largest uh, water theme park. It's the largest really? water park. Yeah, it said so. In the country, it said Oh, Thindle um, spent 20 minutes on stream yesterday debugging an HTML checkbox because my mind went blank and I couldn't remember that you need to set a value for it if you want to um, serialize it into a model. Yeah, sometimes brains are not um, working for yeah. us, nope. definitely. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to do today. Awesome. I want to do something. Okay. What do you uh, want to do? I want you to uh, show uh, Stacy's book because she is a published author now. And how, uh, Stacy you... Cashmore. Awesome book. Stacy. <laughs> do you think that Cashmore. works? Cashmore. Awesome. <laughs> and book. A press. Oh, I see it. 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 Look at that. And you can get it from Amazon. That is amazing. It's a good book. I've read it. And very well done. That is a um, huge task to take on writing a book. Uh, Definitely. Oh, we got a new follower on um, Coding After Work TikTok. Thank you. And speaking of writing stuff, I did a blog post uh, a couple of days ago. Stacy still can't believe it's done and published. Yeah, no, I, I get <gasps> What's that. What's up with this? Uh-oh, that is embarrassing. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What's up with this? What? Why what are you doing? Why is my blog broken? My blog is broken, people. Did you Stop what it? you're doing. <laughs> is it broken? My web browser is broken. Let's try it again. Oh, look at that. If you actually search for awesome Stacy Cashmore's awesome book, you will get <laughs> hits. Uh, the first search result is Amazon, and the images are a bunch of, of her different talks and the book. Um, yeah. Okay, so my blog is That is pretty cool. Broken. That is strange. You were in there just yesterday yeah. fixing stuff. Oh. Apparently, there are so many people going there reading oh, my amazing yeah, yeah. blog post. No? Okay. Could be. Yeah, mine is broken too. Oh, no, you need to. Oh, no, oh, no, right, right, right. Uh, don't just men- mention that, but just. Uh, that just... You, you, you need uh, HTTPS. Okay, yeah. I'm That's not redirecting the. No, look. Ooh, it's working. There you go. 
Oh, wait, this has restarted. Because, oh, my uh, gosh. That's from 2013. Yeah. What did you do? You can get a uh, an amazing developer Christmas list. Oh. Uh, so this is typically what happens when it's restarting because it's indexing all of the uh, posts again. Oh, so something, gosh. That something is... broke royally. There we go. Yeah. Using Tailwind CLI with Blazor and Isolated CSS. <laughs> Tyndall needs a developer Christmas list. Yeah, I did one too. Uh, no, I did a um, female version of that one because mm. all the tips and, and um, stuff was aimed towards men all over the place. Yeah. So I did that. Oh, I was also getting called out because my blog was pink and I have way too many pink stuff on there. Which turned out was maybe 15% of all the stuff. And also I like pink. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Female developer Christmas list. Yeah, well, more like female nerd uh, all over there. Uh, so I, I, I wrote Lego, a... Lego and Lego. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I wrote a blog post yes, you that did. Yes, was... Either you hate Tailwind or you love Tailwind. There's yeah. nothing in between. Yeah. I think that I might be somewhere in between because I hate it and I see the upsides as well. No, I think you are on both sides. I don't think you are in between. <laughs> okay. I think you love it and hate it at the same time. Uh, so I wrote a blog post where uh, where I talk about uh, different ways of, of uh, implementing Tailwind into uh, Blazor. This is typical what I don't like. Look at that. So this is this is um, bootstrap, the bootstrap way of making a button. So bit, BTN, BTN primer, that's going to be green button. No, blue button. Uh, this is the same button, but with Tailwind. Yeah. It's a little bit bloated. It is, right? Yeah. And, and people, it's not readable. And, and a lot of people... I mean, not. you get a lot of things for free uh, or help with stuff, uh, but it's also not readable. But uh, you're not really getting a lot of things for free because this is things for free. Yeah, BTN, that's true. BTN primary, that's, that's free stuff. Yeah. This is well, like... Well, I, to be honest, I'm not very a fan of Bootstrap either because it's also bloating my, hmm. my code... Um, I think I've ranted about this so many times, but when you have 20,000, I'm not even kidding, rows of code and you just want to make a quick fix changing one color at one place and you can't even seem to find it because you don't know the naming convention by heart, uh, that is frustrating. Yeah. So I removed that. So what 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 I'm talking about in this post is this has um, a lot of of um, kind of nice things that we can use for other things, but uh, in this case I don't like npm. So I don't want to install npm. I don't need want Node.js and stuff like that. So <laughs> readable and CSS in the same sentence. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> uh, so we we are uh, getting all of the tooling mm -hmm. inside of just adding this uh, these. 10,000 lines of things. <laughs> uh, all of this. So it's going to bring down Tailwind CLI. It's going to make sure that it's uh, updated to that particular version. Uh, we got um, CSS, uh, making isolated CSS work. So you can type uh, CSS. Um, you can type Tailwind inside of isolated CSS and it's going to resolve that and mm -hmm. work. So... Well, if you're using uh, Tailwind, take a look. Maybe it's maybe it's for you, maybe not. Tyndall used to be a CSS class that should describe what, not how, Puritanist uh, for the longest time. Mm -hmm. He wanted class OK button, not class button button success. Yep. That Don't you solve that at work? Uh, we do. Uh, so it, it's very interesting that you said that because uh, I had a couple of... Dis I had discussions on Twitter about Oh, this. don't get too happy because he's now given up and accepted the dark ways. <laughs> but uh, so what what we're doing at work, uh, we are... Um, the, uh, um, I want to have as little CSS 
clauses as possible. So what I'm talking about here is the semantic version. So in this case, I have an H1. I'm not adding any clauses to that one. I'm styling the H1. I'm styling the button and so on. I mean the way for the button. There we go. Uh, but that's not always possible. So what we did is that we added a... Um, we made our own button class, which is basically just, uh, just this code, right? But we added a property saying exactly what you're what you're talking about we're not saying we're not saying okay button we're saying save we're saying update we're saying delete and all of those things and save and update might be the same styling in the end but we're we're forcing us to to um pick one one type of button. Well, actually, I see it the other way around. You mm. are not forced to think through what kind of button a warning button yeah. or uh, um, a safe button or whatever they are, their naming convention is. Because then you need to think through, okay, but what happens if it's clicked? What happens mm. if, what what is the different states? Will that work for my scenario? Exactly. So you're, you're actually doing the opposite even if you may or may not have duplicate code, mm. uh, you will know, okay, we need an okay button. We need a submit button. Yeah. We need a whatever so, button. So in, instead of, of success button, what is a success button? Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it save? Is that a success button? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're just abstracting all of that things away. Yeah. So the only thing we need to think about is what does this button do? It saves stuff. Okay, it's a save button. Yeah. Uh, Tyndall has a point, though. He says, he says, first of all, this is one hundred percent okay. But if it's an okay button, it should be the okay button class you're using, not the success button or right. uh, save exactly. button and yes. stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And and in, in uh, uh, absolutely, but since we abstract that away, it doesn't really matter because in our code, we are we are we can type okay button. But it might be yeah, behind the seat. It, it might be an, a button, button one, yeah, or a button success, or yeah, button primary, or whatever you want to name it with whatever framework you're using. And and yeah. I and I totally get that uh, the the naming convention. The the really nice thing here is, of course, that if we decide that hey, we don't want to use Bootstrap anymore, we just need to change this in one place. Well, every. Yeah every component that's actually using uh, using bootstrap but for the button we just need to change it one place uh, yeah. that actually saved us a lot of time yeah. and uh, and even more well, so it's correct it and it's also it, uh, it it will make you a little bit more productive because you don't have to stop and think about what is this button actually doing uh so um yeah Oh, and Tyndall said, I didn't know about apply. Uh, so the apply is a, um, is a um, tailwind thing. So you would not be able to do that, what you're writing there, BTN, BTN success. That's uh, bootstrap. So no, sadly not. But you can do that inside of SAS. Uh, it's not at apply, it's something else, but if you if you bring in SAS into um, into your Bootstrap project, you could do exactly that. Uh, that's actually actually how we done it in mm. the back back end. Because what we're doing again with the semantics, uh, I'm I'm trying to make sure that section, for example, the, the HTML tag section looks the same everywhere we're using section. So instead of of adding a class to the section, I'm saying, you know what? Every section in the whole site is going to look exactly the same, unless I add a class and then we can do something completely different. But for section, uh, it made sense for us to have the, have it the exact same way. Uh, we have, for example, we have a title on our section, so which is, which is an, I believe it's an H two or something like that, H four. I don't I don't remember, but it's an it's some kind of header. Uh, so we got we got 
uh, section and every I think we got a header underneath I'm, I'm not exactly sure but so in the CSS we're saying section and underneath that with with an um, arrow thingy uh, we're saying if there is a header down uh, beneath that and if there is an H whatever to beneath that it should be styled in a specific way so since we have all of these components it, it's 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 simply going to be styled correctly <laughs> Oh, section uh, header, dot header, h1. Yeah. Exactly like that, but without the dot for the header, because header is a the HTML tag. There you go. But yes. Which which makes it so much easier to... Uh, it doesn't blow the HTML. So yeah. for, for me, Tailwind just... I, I can't get my head around it because, I mean this button here having a counter class text for excel font bold yeah it's unreadable the, it's unreadable it, i don't even want to have class there i don't want to have header one or whatever this should be enough and well it depends on how your team works if you yeah, have like a front ender and stuff like that and, but and, and there's a lot for, of things that purpose. that doesn't make sense having this because yeah. you might have different ways of bringing in stuff and i had a discussion on on twitter with a person that said that yeah i don't mind the bloat but uh, they wanted to um they wanted to have all of that uh, in there because it made made it easier to understand it was easier to for them to understand what what was going on. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We have different um, ways of working. Yeah, and and in my head, I'm 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 totally one hundred percent with you, Tyndall. With with, it should describe what it is. It shouldn't say green background. That's not yeah, the, no. the correct class. It should yeah. say background or whatever whatever it is. Um. So yeah. That's uh, today's rant. So Phyllis Novel says, does all these classes make the HTML payload bigger? Uh, absolutely. Um, 20,000 so, rows of bootstrap. <laughs> no, but also for Tailwind. Uh, I mean, uh, having having all of these texts, so all of this does not get optimized in any way, but it does take all of the CSS uh, figure it figures out what Tailwind classes that are in use inside of the project, which means that the CSS is going to be smaller. It's just going to bring in those things that you're actually using inside of the project. So from that aspect, it's not going to be what did you say, twenty thousand? Twenty thousand rows. <laughs> so the, the the main CSS is going to be smaller. Uh, when compared to Bootstrap, for example, but the payload 20, is definitely going. To... This is like one one button. Well, that's, that's twenty thousand characters for sure. This is what I'm saying for a simple button. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I like it clean and simple and to the point. Uh, but so I, I'm, I'm on your side when it comes to um, abstracting that away. But yeah. A bootstrap wouldn't fit on a spectrum or a ZX spectrum. No, that's for sure. Uh, what did it have? Forty-eight K memory. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, but unless if we this... fill the ROM as well, that might mm. be okay. Uh, but if the CSS is static, then maybe the CSS could be cached, but the pages yeah. might not be as easily cached. Huh. <laughs> That's a really good point. Fifteen uh, colors should be enough for anyone. Fifteen colors is too many. That's just uh, that's just too many. Well, unless you're showing like uh, in this case we have um, color coded code and stuff like that. But if you want to have fifteen colors on your web page, uh, give me a call and we can talk it out. 
uh, I think Fearless Number and Tyndall uh, just, I didn't even think about this, but Bootstrap, if you're using a CDN, you would be able to cache Bootstrap more central, if you will. Yeah, okay. And make sure that it's going to be the same CSS for many different sites. Yeah. As long as they are all referring to the same bootstrap. Uh, and the same thing goes with um, uh, with uh, Tailwind. Because you're not going to be able to cache that because it's different for every site. So that's even a, <laughs> that's even another point for bootstrap or, or against Tailwind, I guess. Hmm. I, I've uh, I've actually invited Chris Sainty uh, to the um, uh, to, to do the, a stream um, to do a stream. Yeah, um, let's see if he still want to do it after this rant. But <laughs> <laughs> let's not show uh, him I, this rant. <laughs> but I, I really, I really, really want someone to prove me wrong. I love that because that means that I'm learning something and and it shows something that I did not think about. Uh, yeah. from the get-go. Yeah. So I'm I'm really hoping that he can convince me that otherwise because yeah. well all, all at things... least understand where where people are coming from. Uh, yeah. maybe we missed a use case or something. So uh, but also we need to do trade-offs in our day-to-day -day jobs anyways and maybe this was one of them we may or may not need to do or mm. or it's not. So um Jimmy, since you don't get Tailwind, I revoke your web dev credential. That would be the outcome of the stream. Yeah, might um, be. No, might I think be. the invitation was, uh, can you convince me uh, that Tailwind is not as bad as I think of it is? Can you make me like it? And, and there's really that kind of, uh, as I mentioned, you either hate it or you love it. There's no in between, and you. And you hate it or love it with a passion. And you do both. <laughs> Remember when we were trying to figure out what we were doing on this page, the next tech event? Mm -hmm. uh, we said pure CSS. And then you said, no, we're going Tailwind. And then you yeah. said, I'm removing Tailwind. Uh, and then the next stream it was, oh, let's do Bootstrap. I'm removing Bootstrap. Let's do Tailwind. And we've been doing this for uh, a while. So, yeah, just pick a lane. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said no? No. 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 <laughs> yeah. So um that's um that's what we are got hopefully got in our future to to learn why we yeah. should should love Tailwind. Yeah. And know. then after that fact I will invite uh Ed or someone to fix our CSS so we can go pure uh, CSS anyways, and you can stand, stand there and like or dislike Tailwind as much as you want. <laughs> but we got a search page. We did get a search page, and that's that, awesome. That's basically what I promised. So if you have any uh, any more things that you think that, hey, th we should bring this one in or, or whatever it may be, please let us know, yep. and we can do that. I think that we reached a point, even though it's, it's not, I mean, Still looks uh, horrific when you click on a. Um, on anything. Actually, this one doesn't have any. Uh, any. Um, temperatures. Maybe they didn't Ooh, look have. Look at this. This is a conference <laughs> I'm going to talk at. Okay. Where's this? I do not know. Hey, look at it. <laughs> Exploiting hardware hacking. This oh. is your conference. Yeah. Looks like that. Pen testing. Yeah, I know words Zero from days, that. Zero uh, day vulnerabilities. No, it I doesn't know. say that. Verna be Billy does. Okay, death. so okay, well, maybe I would understand Looks nothing kind of except the zero like day that. part of that one. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, it's the it's capital just, yeah. and largest city of the Brazilian state of something. I am not going to try oh, yeah. to um, pronounce. So apparently Brazilian, Brazilian, Brazil, Brazil. there we go, Brazil. <laughs> I knew this. I definitely didn't Google, Tyndall says. Uh, <laughs> somehow, I'm not sure of that uh, statement. Hey, look at this. This is English. From Papercall.io? Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Just call it glitter. Yeah, let's call it's it apparently glitter. Apparently there's a mix of, of Swedish. Uh, Swedish. I don't no, think that's Swedish. Swedish. Pretty sure it's not. But what do I know? You call me Danish anyway, so. That's true. So it might be. It's all true, oh. people. Okay, so should we uh, end with trying to uh, see if we can raid someone? Yes. Because Let's we... try if we have anyone online. We do have Jessica Mac online doing hey. software and game development. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. So thank you for today and uh, join us in the raid if you want to. Yep. See you next time. Bye.